Welcome to the first video in the series, Fastest HDRI for VFX equals Ricoh Theta Z1. Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightSailVR.com. I make tutorials about virtual production, visual effects, 3D software, and more. Make sure to subscribe to get more videos like this. In this video, we're going to talk about the new HDRI app from Ricoh Theta, how to install it, and how to use it. This app is a game changer for visual effects supervisors and VFX artists because it simplifies the capture and post-processing by stitching, merging, and exporting to EXR all on camera. It saves these files to EXRs that you can use immediately. In other words, you can use this camera to capture an image and bring that image directly into Unreal Engine, Octane, or Blender without having to bring it into Lightroom to process, and you don't have to stitch. It does save the source files if you still want them. Okay, let's jump in. First, you'll need to buy the Ricoh Theta Z1, of course. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Now, go to support.theta360.com and find the Ricoh Theta Z1. Scroll down to the computer application, and then download the basic app for Windows or Mac, depending on which computer you're on. After you install it, open the Ricoh Theta app. Now, turn on your Z1 and plug it into the computer. The first thing to do is go to File, Firmware Update, and check to see if it's updated. Go ahead and press OK. If there is an update, make sure to update now. I'm on the latest version, so I'm just going to press OK. Go to pluginstore.theta360.com, click on Ricoh Plugins, and then select HDRI. Now press install. This should open the Ricoh Theta app and press OK. After you install it, go up to plugin, plugin management, and then press OK. Here you can select which plugins you want and in which order. I want to move HDRI to the top. I suggest putting the HDRI as plugin one so it's always the first one that shows up. Now press OK. Now you can unplug from your computer and you're ready to shoot. First, click and hold to turn on the camera. To enter the HDRI app, click and hold the mode button until the app selection comes up. If you need to, cycle through your apps by pressing and releasing the mode button. Once you see the HDRI app, press and release the shutter button to confirm. You can adjust several settings here. To change the number of brackets, press and release the Wi-Fi button. To change the EV step, press and release the function button. To change the minimum shutter speed, press and hold the function button. Once you are happy with your settings, press the shutter button once to capture your HDRI. The screen will tell you what's happening. First it says wait, then it says take picture. Here it is capturing however many brackets you've selected. Then it says merge. At this point it is merging all the captured images and saving it to an EXR file on the camera. Okay, that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure to subscribe and check out the next video where we'll talk about shooting considerations for HDRIs using the Ricoh Theta Z1. Alright, see you in the next video.